The Belmont Stakes is now roughly 48 hours away. Once again this year, the same horse won the Kentucky Derby and Preakness Stakes and has a chance to take racing's triple crown. With the big race on the horizon, we thought tonight would be a good time to consider what happens to these beautiful creatures when their racing days are over. They're off in the Preakness. American Pharaoh has a chance to win horse racing's coveted triple crown this weekend. He has five lengths in front as they come to the wire. That part of the story is well documented. But even if he fails in that quest, this strapping bay colt is set. He'll be off to the breeding shed where he'll produce generations of offspring. And while some of those horses may turn out to be as fast as their derby winning daddy, many of them will labor at lower tier racetracks to pay the bills of struggling trainers. They may run too hard, too often, and end up exhausted. I retrain them to be sport and pleasure horses. So we spend a good year to two years with the horses before we offer them for adoption. Enter Ginny Iverson of After the Track in Hinesburg, Vermont. She prepares racehorses for new careers. His race name was Light Switch, and we call him Bling. This is Call Me Suki. He's now called Enzo. This is Turbo. That's what she did with Imperturbable, who is a cousin to countless Kentucky Derby winners. He was, um, He's one of the most athletic horses I've ever ridden, and he's done some eventing since he came off the track, and he was very, very successful. So often, thoroughbred racehorses get a reputation for being flighty once they come off the track, but Ginny Iverson will tell you that's not necessarily the case. Turbo here raced 35 times, and look at him now. After some training, he's practically a statue. And trot. It takes a lot of work to turn a racehorse into a pleasure horse. And canter. At the track, they aren't so much as taught as they are conditioned to bolt out of a gate and accelerate. As long as we take a nice, solid, you know, holistic approach with them, I think that they turn out to be like this. A horse that is not only calm itself, but able to share that calm with those who adopt the steed. Now, after the track is having an open house one week after the Belmont Stakes, that's Saturday, June 13th, beginning at 11 in the morning and lasting until 3 in the afternoon at Heinsberg Farm. If you are a horse nut like me, it is well worth checking out. Now, this Saturday, you can watch American Pharaoh take a shot at history right here on WPTZ. Coverage of the 147th running of the Belmont Stakes begins at 4.30 on Saturday afternoon.